I have an LSG 3038 tractor that I've had it for six years now. Yeah, a um, little over six years, have a little over 600 uh, hours on it. Uh, it's been used pretty well, but I started developing a crack in the front loader bracket and I need to basically take it off and weld it. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. Um, I figure I should do it before maybe it the crack perpetuates and finally breaks in half and suddenly like uh, half the loader comes off the tractor in the middle of a, of a job. So it's a little bit of a project, uh, uh, but not too bad. So let's get to it. Okay, got the bracket out. It was a pain in the boot. Uh, so yeah, I can see the crack pretty clearly. So let's get that thing into the shop. I'll start grinding it. Like I said, I think I'm gonna add a tab, probably weld to the back of this plate here, and then up onto this one to help uh, just reinforce that area a little bit. I don't see any clearance issues there, so I don't think that'll be a problem. It's not a light piece and it's not easy to get in now. All right, so you can see I cleared out some uh, bit of the paint. I ground down uh, quite a bit on both sides. It might be hard to tell, but this right here is the grinding from the other side. Uh, so they don't quite match up, but this one follows the, the crack pretty well. I just have a hard time getting the grinder in on the other side to follow it as closely. And what I do is I figure I'll take probably at least three passes on this side, one initial pass, and then hopefully two overlapping is what I'm thinking is going to happen here. I ground off a little bit of the corner here to allow for the ground to clamp onto. And then... Uh, you know, I cleared off some of this area over here so that I can add a gusset. Um, unfortunately, I can't quite get into that paint right there very easily. But the idea would be to have a gusset kind of going like here. Um, triangular shaped, but I'll add that after I, I do this initial welding. And then most of that paint will probably burn off and then it'll be a little clearer. Okay, here's the one side. Um, I, I left it pretty lumpy up here just because I, I wanted extra meat on this thing so it doesn't crack again. And then I had this little weld puddle right there because I just wasn't quite getting it uh, built up around the bolt hole. So not super clean, but uh, I'll have to grind it down a little bit to get it uh, uh, to allow the bolt head to sit right here. Now let's go take a look on the other side. So I got three passes here. There's one in the middle and then uh, this side and that side and then I, I welded a little bit up here because I wasn't quite getting a build up there uh, So then the next step is uh, I'm gonna shape a piece a gusset to go from here to there and uh, Weld that sucker on too. I happen to have this piece of uh, Scrap right here. It's fairly thick. I think it's like uh, 3 8 uh, Looks like it'll work out pretty good. All I'm just gonna have to mark crossed here at an angle and then I'll do most of the welding on the other side. I'll probably weld a little bit on the back side here to try to tie it in though. Uh, I'll have to grind most of the weld off. Anyway, if I can get in and get some of that weld, it'll help. Um, not easy to get in there and grind it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and plasma cut it right there. Amico plasma cutter that I've been using. It seems to be working all right. So uh, we'll give another test.
Okay, now that I've uh, plasma cut it, I'm going to take that little piece and I'm just going to clamp it into place and then uh, I'll start welding. So here's that. Here's the one side. It's uh, I would say it's kind of ugly, not not great. Um, I definitely had some settings off, though. I mean, I can't tell through the welds exactly what it is, but it seems like either my wire feed speed was too slow or too too high. I can't. It was uh, somewhere in there. Um, but that's one side. And here's the other side. Uh, you know, it's all right. I tacked it here and then over here and then started welding in here. And this area was a little low, so I added an extra weld right there. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to weld the end real quick. And I want to weld that right there. I missed it earlier. All right, now the bracket's installed on the tractor. Plenty of clearance here. Ground out the back, so it's pretty flush. Um, so I think this should be and then the gusset. You can hardly see, but... It's in there, no, uh, not interfering with anything. Overall, it wasn't too hard to get this piece out. I had to unbolt these two, unbolt these three bolts, and then uh, these two bolts up front. Now, the reason I have different colors is because this one fell out at some point and had to replace it. Um, the uh, This had to get pried back a little bit, and then there's a little clearance, uh, you know, right here with the brake pedals, kind of hard to get out, but, uh, basically, you can, by forcing this out a little bit, it allows this to drop underneath and out. It's not the easiest thing, it's just, but it certainly beats unbolting this and then having to bolt it, you know, completely off the tractor, off the back axle. But uh, I, sh I was planning on painting it before I put it back in, but also, of course, you know, emergency needs tractor right now kind of a thing. So I had to just put it on and I'll to probably paint it at some point on the tractor is what I'll, I'll probably end up doing in the springtime. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Uh, it does help uh, the channel a little bit. It uh, helps support you know the activities that I do to some degree. Um, and uh, if you have any questions or constructive criticism, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll try to get to them uh, when I can. All right, thank you. Bye.